process that we're involved in is one that was started by Errol Hill in the 1950s. And it was in reading the work that he had done, both in Jamaica and in Trinidad and other parts of the Caribbean, the West Indies, that um, sort of inspired the notion in my own, in my own mind. Um, the reason that Trinity College Hartford, Connecticut is in the in all the thank yous and so on was because of my relationship with the college. Um, I was actually hired in Hartford to run a playwright workshop, and um, I took the opportunity to create one there based on some stuff some other folks were doing. Um, and then was saddled with the, in my own mind, the responsibility of if, if I was doing that there, how come I wasn't doing it here? Um, knowing the Hill, Errol Hill history. Um, so that, I just remind you of that, 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 the, that what we involved in, it's really carrying on something that people like Beryl Van Burney and Errol Hill and Errol John started in the late 1940s. Um, we are very bad on carrying on these legacies. Um, um, if you want to know what to do, it's so easy to just read the history and, and pick up a baton and pick up with those guys. If you, if you really look at what people like Hill and those guys had done at that time, it's so much work they were doing and they were part of something called the Youth League. So they were youth. They, they, this was youth initiating all this stuff. Yes. Um, so, so I, I mentioned that for two reasons. One, for you to understand that legacy, but also for you to understand what is there for you to do. Yes. It's, it's, there, 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 there are all kinds of seeds just laying around for you to for you to pick up. Particularly those of you who are university graduates who are just looking for a job. I have no idea why you're looking for a job. And four or five years in university, going to work for somebody. No, make it up yourself. You know. So just to say that, and also to mention Eric Roach, the other the other sort of patron of this whole process, who um, almost single-handedly has kept Tobago in our in our, 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 our drama pantheon. Written has written a couple of plays that really represent Tobago, life in Tobago, and there are not many of those. Um, and we sort of forget what, what Roach was doing and how he was um, articulating a Tobago, Tobago voice internationally. Lately we have Rose as a Tobago voice internationally, which is great. Um, and in, from the point of view of the dramatist, I think Roach has done incredible work in that area that is often overlooked. So I just want to remind you of that. And, and to me, the mother of this whole thing is Bella McBurney, um, who I had the privilege to spend a lot of time talking to um, before she died. Um, and I think it's really helpful and supportive to us to remember these people and what they did. And, and, and in remembering, it makes it so easy for us to know what to do. You don't have to hit your head against nothing to know what to do. They, they, they laid it out for us. Um, and so we have that legacy and we have those traditions to follow. So in, in a sense, the work is easy, really. We, we're not floundering. So enjoy. It must be fun. It is called play for a purpose. Play is for a purpose. We are playwrights for a purpose. We need to create plays. Play. Yes? Forget work.